So a quick video uh, going through the install of an AccuSump. In this case, it's not a Canton brand AccuSump, it's a Moroso, um, I guess, accumulator tank at 1.5 quart. But this is a real Canton AccuSump EPC valve or an electronic pressure control valve. The way this valve in this whole system works is I have it plumbed into an oil galley at the, um, in the block. So the idea is oil pressure is generated by the oil pump. It's pumped through the filter, first through the oil cooler, then it's filtered, then it's sent through this towards the um, main uh, bearings and the connecting rod bearings. But on the way, I have this uh, hose where oil pressure is also going to be diverted towards the AccuSum system. This is a one-way electronically controlled valve where even when de-energized, oil is allowed to flow in to the accumulator. When low oil pressure is detected in the system, which would happen if an air bubble were sucked in through the oil pan, through the pump, that would cause a pressure drop. That valve will open and oil will be allowed to flow in reverse back into the engine. And the idea is that it stores behind that one-way valve the peak pressure that it sees um, during engine operation. The way that it uh, stores energy and releases energy is with air pressure. So currently there is some pressure on in the tank, which means it is, uh, well at the moment it's completely empty, um, just filled with air. So um, I think the total volume of this entire unit is two and a half quarts. So imagine, yeah, two and a half quarts of air. As oil starts to flow in, that air gets compressed as an internal piston slides over here. So if right now it's reading 20 PSI, totally full, if this uh, takes in half of its capacity in oil, um, around a quart or a quart and a quarter or whatever, uh, then this should start to read um, double that pressure. So it might be, um, you know, 40 PSI for the sake of a simple example, although we'd be looking at the, uh, the absolute pressure. So right now it's at 35, it should go up to 70, um, subtract 15. Anyway, 55 PSI is what it should read if this were half full. So, uh, with all that being said, the wiring that's necessary for an AccuSump, it can be very simple. You can simply connect ignition power to here. This is the trigger switch. And ignition power is gonna be available. As soon as that uh, low pressure switch triggers, it connects the circuit sends the power to the valve, and the valve has a connection to ground. So it'll click open very quickly. Uh, oil will start to flow out. Things that you might want to do instead are to include a toggle switch to be able to arm and disarm the whole AccuSum system. This is especially important if the idle oil pressure of your car is less than the trigger pressure of this valve. If that's the case and your AccuSum system is armed, then even at idle, you come to a stop at a stoplight, suddenly it'll say, oh, warning, low oil pressure, and it'll start to push extra oil into your engine. Um, I don't think with this one and a half quart system that that would be catastrophic, but it will start to overflow the oil sump. You know, like your oil pan will get, you know, that extra one and a half quarts of oil. And then you might have issues with uh, oil aeration. The crankshaft will start lapping that oil and creating a whole big frothy mixture in there which will cause uh, lower oil pressure. Um, so that's one thing you might wanna do, a switch. The other nice thing to do is a kind of an indicator light or an LED of some sort to show you in the cabin the times that the AccuSump system is discharging. So to do that, basically it's the same system. Here is switched ignition power um, behind that arm, arming switch. And then on the way out, you see there's two wires. One of them goes here to power the valve, but then the other wire is just gonna send that 12 volts back into the cabin. And then we'll have basically an, a light that turns on to tell us 
hey, the AccuSum system is working. So here's where I ended up mount, uh, mounting the arming switch and the indicator LED that the AccuSump is working. Um, so first take here, trying to power up the car to see what happens. So I've given it ignition power and I expect when I turn the switch on that this light will turn on. And it did, nice. Um, so to explain what just happened, I armed the AccuSump that sent 12 volts into its own low oil pressure switch. The car is off, so there's zero oil pressure. That means that low oil pressure switch connected and it sent power into its electronic valve, but also back towards this LED. So that is an extremely bright light. Um, I made it that bright because I want to know, uh, you know, when the system has low oil pressure. This isn't a track car by any stretch of the imagination, but um, still want to know um, when things are acting up. One last thing I wanted to show off for my setup, I've installed, oh, that's the best way to see it, right here, a five times oil pressure gauge. Um, so we've got, at the very top will be AccuSump air pressure. So that's on the uh, air side of the AccuSump. Right now it's reading 14.7. Um, then these three zero readings are actually three different spots in my oil system that I want to track oil pressures. This first spot is on, right on the oil side of the AccuSump. And then these other two spots at the bottom are inlets and outlets to the oil cooler. So um, those two are before the oil filter and this one is after the oil filter. Uh, so I wired all these up because the gauge was cheap, the sensors were cheap, and I just wanted to see um, basically how much of an oil pressure drop uh, exists at different parts of the oiling system. This last uh, sensor I'll eventually try to hook up to my fuel line to record fuel pressures, see if I need to upgrade my fuel pump with the supercharger. Um, yeah, so the last thing to show is uh, on the air side, we have a basic Schrader valve. You can unscrew the cap and fill it up using an air chuck. Uh, and then right here, this is one of those five um, NPT pressure sensors. So there's one for the air side of the AccuSump. There's the one for the um, oil pressure side of the AccuSump. And here are the two for the input and output of the oil uh, cooler. So these are both pre-filter. Um, this is right after the oil pump, oil being pushed towards the cooler. This is right after the cooler, oil being pushed towards the filter. Then it goes through the filter. Then it goes through the tube towards the AccuSump. So I'm expecting we'll see the highest pressure here, slightly lower pressure here because of the filter, and then the lowest oil pressure right there by the AccuSump um, since that is also post-filter. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful to folks. All right, ready for the first startup with the AccuSump. I'm gonna try to spend a good amount of time priming the engine uh, because I do not want to start combustion with this additional just void sapping all the oil pressure that's supposed to go to the bearings. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is floor the accelerator pedal and crank and that should prevent fuel from being injected. I'm gonna do that until I start to see oil pressure at these sensors and also importantly that sensor. Um, I don't know if simply cranking will build enough pressure to like begin to fill the AccuSump. I just wanna see any amount of oil reach um, the entrance to it. So I'm gonna do it in a closed garage um, because we're not really trying to start the engine. We're long here. Um, so again, flooring the accelerator pedal. Uh, let me also turn the wheel straight. Oh. Okay. All right, so ignition power. We got our AccuSump air pressure. So I'm gonna floor it and make sure we're at least in neutral. Okay, so I'm going to crank until we see those 0 0.0s go up.
go. So working like it like expected, this is pre-cooler, pre-filter, post-cooler, pre-filter. This is near the AccuSum, so post-filter, and this is the air pressure. It's gonna match the oil pressure going into this AccuSum. So as you can see, just my cheap oil cooler has a 10 PSI drop almost. The oil filter has a 10 PSI drop almost. Uh, maybe that's an exaggeration, but nonetheless, you can see all these elements in an oil system uh, produce a pressure drop. So if I rev the engine just a little bit, this should go up. And this also tracks. But as I let it idle down, you see the AccuSump is holding that peak pressure. Or at least it should be. Hopefully it's not all leaking out somewhere. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna shut it off. And just to take a look at this reading again. Okay, you can see it's stabilizing. And it is holding the peak pressure that we saw the last time the engine was started. So if we uh, simulate, I guess, uh, normally this would be armed. If I flip the switch to be on, the warning light will turn on and also we'll start to see oil pressure build through the system. Immediately, we got 50 PSI at the mains. And when we just started the engine, it already had oil circulating through it. So that is exactly how the AccuSum system is supposed to work. Alrighty. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, still got some oil pressure. I uh, turned on the ignition, but it was already armed, so it dropped from 70 plus down to 59. Uh, but that's totally expected how it's supposed to work. So. Ignition off, gonna rearm it for the next time I wanna start the car, and then it'll be able to pre-oil the engine uh, during that start. Thanks for watching.